with the high voltage technology, we can be a little bit more efficient than low voltage technology. You know, Zachary, one of the debates that's going on out here in the, in the industry right now is, is do we still need module level power electronics? Or tell us about it. You know, what are you seeing right now as far as your, your customers? Are more of them choosing to defer the battery or do you see more that are going straight to do the battery at the initial install? The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from Inner Solar North America, which is the large solar conference here in San Diego. And this afternoon I'm joined by Zachary Kieran, product manager at Fronius. We're looking at the new Fronius Gen 24 hybrid inverter. So Zachary, it's really good to meet you. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Nice to meet you. Thank you for joining the booth. Um, we have the Gen 24 showcased here at Inner Solar today, and I'd like to walk you through a little bit about the technical specs. Yeah, well, walk us through it, please. I guess this is with the outer cover on, this is with the, the uh, cover exposed, but let's just take it from the top. Solar, battery compatibility, power rating, warranty. Just, just walk me through it, please. Sure, this is a uh, hybrid inverter, uh, and one thing that's really nice about this system is we can purchase this as a standard inverter, firstly, and if the customer decides that battery storage is right for them at a later time, a simple over-the-air software update can be provided to this inverter, which will turn it into a hybrid inverter. So right off the bat, we can save our customers money by giving them what they might want firstly, and then upgrading that system at a later time. The inverter's power class ranges from 3.8 kilowatts to 10 kilowatts, and it features two maximum power point trackers, a battery input, and of course the AC output side here. This is a, again, a hybrid inverter. We are compatible with the BYD HVM US battery, available in stacks between 9.9 .9 kilowatt hour and 20 kilowatt hour. Now is this high voltage or low voltage on the battery size? Is it 48 volts or? This is a high voltage battery. And voltage. with the high voltage technology, we can be a little bit more efficient than low voltage technology, as well as provide smaller conductors between the battery stacks and the inverter. Absolutely, and again, for those of you who've been watching the channel for a while, you know we've been talking about this a lot over the past year. AC coupled versus DC coupled batteries, high voltage versus low voltage. The high voltage DC coupled is gonna be the most efficient solar to battery charging, because frankly, if, if we can keep that electricity in its, as close to as possible as its original native format, which is gonna be high voltage DC coming off the solar strings, we can take that direct to a high voltage DC battery, is gonna be the most efficient DC to DC battery charging. Yeah, especially when we compare the technology to AC coupled batteries, for example. When we have this dedicated PV battery input port, we can have a little bit better round trip efficiency when we compare to other manufacturers with like AC coupled batteries, for example. Right, right. Now, in terms of off-grid operation, if, if let's say the, the grid goes down, you have to fail over to battery backup mode, how much power can this supply secure power into the house during a blackout? Yeah, we can supply up to the nominal uh, inverter power of the system. So if this is a 10 kilowatt inverter, we can supply 10 kilowatts of power. With the BYD batteries, we can supply again 20 kilowatt hours, up to 20 kilowatt hours. Um, with that, we can manage a system running at its maximum capacity for between two hours to as much time as they need, and depending on the loads, of course, of the home. Um, this inverter features a free and native backup mode called PV Points, which you can see on this side. This can connect directly to an outlet, and when the grid goes down, we can power some emergency circuits that are a part of this outlet, right? And then lastly, we also have the essential backup mode. This, with the Gen 24 Plus inverter, we are allowed to uh, switch over to operating in an off-grid state once the grid does go down. And it can provide, again, up to nominal power of the inverter. So, 10 kilowatts. Great, great. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Figure. If you're considering financing the purchase of a solar or battery storage system for your home, then you need to take a look at the new Figure Home Equity line of credit. The Figure HELOC offers a lower fixed interest rate no dealer fees, flexible payment terms, auto pay discount, and multiple draws if you need to expand your system in multiple phases. Loans are available up to $400,000 and interest may be tax deductible, saving you thousands compared to a traditional solar loan. So if you're serious about becoming energy independent and you want to avoid all the hidden fees and higher rates of solar loans, then check out the figure HELOC. You can go directly to the figure website or click the link in the description below Apply online in as little as five minutes and get funding in as few as five days. 
Now, is there anything else? I guess all of this here is just, this just, just your heat sink here, basically? Yeah, something that's interesting about this, uh, you might not see very many inverters with actively cooled heat sinks. And we at Fronius really believe in reliability, flexibility, and installability. When we have actively cooled power electronics, we can uh, guarantee that this inverter will last through its warranty cycle in a much more, and, uh, and operate in a very efficient manner. Um, when I talk about installability, we feature as well removable terminals. And with this, we can make all of our connections without having to have a torque screwdriver, without having to make sure that we are torquing down to the proper rating. And then we can just insert this back. And all of our terminals are like this, as you can see. Great. Well, you know, Zachary, one of the debates that's going on out here in the, in the industry right now is, is do we still need module level power electronics or is the DC coupled string inverter architecture the more, the more preferable architecture? I know I talked to some installers, they like it because this is, this is probably going to be the simplest, fastest, lowest cost in terms of labor requirement and material requirement to do the install especially if you can install this in, in a grid tie only format first and then come back and retrofit batteries later if and when they're needed. Now, of course, as we're recording this video, we're, we're in San Diego right now. So you know, here in Southern California, one for one net metering is done. So most of the solar that's going in now is going in with batteries on day one. But for those of you that may be in the Midwest or on the East Coast, you know, you still have one for one net metering. You don't necessarily need a battery today unless you want emergency backup power. But uh, tell us about it. You know, what are you seeing right now as far as your, your customers? Are more of them choosing to defer the battery or do you see more that are going straight to do the battery at the initial install? Of course we can say that it depends on the region. It's a really interesting question. It's, it very much so depends on the region that they're being installed in, such as the Midwest again. We do have some areas with one-to-one -one net metering. In these areas, we will see less battery installations. Customers don't need to be as self-consuming in these scenarios. But as we get towards Southern California, on day one, these are always going to have that battery attached with them. Now, you can purchase a Gen 24 Plus inverter directly out of the box, or you can upgrade to a Gen 24 Plus inverter uh, from a standard Gen 24. It's really all about flexibility. We want to provide something that our customers can use across the United States, no matter what their NEM integrity or NEM requirements are. Great, great. Uh, in terms of warranty, what can you tell us about the warranty on the, the uh, inverter? This, is a, this inverter has a 12-year warranty. It's a little bit interesting and a little bit unique in the market today as well. We have a, a standard 10-year warranty, but as soon as the customer registers their product, they have a 12-year warranty with this product. So the Gen 24 has that 12-year warranty, and again, with the active cooling, uh, this is one reason why we can offer such a large warranty. Great. Well, Zachary, anything else that the audience should know about the new Gen 24 hybrid inverter or maybe, maybe what's coming next? Yeah, for me, next is larger power classes, uh, extra backup equipment, and something that I find very interesting is power control systems. This would be something that I would hope to look for uh, with the inverter. More details can come on that at a later date. Great. Well, folks, this has been a quick introduction to the Fronius Gen 24 hybrid inverter. So this is a battery optional inverter. You can install it grid tie only add battery later, or you can do it all at once if you want to uh, at the original install. Uh, by the way, if you're getting good value from these videos you see on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. You know, we're trying to get that over 100,000 subscribers this year. Uh, and of course, the reason that we're here in San Diego and we go to the solar conferences uh, is to make sure that you guys that can't be here in person, you still stay up to date with all the latest product and technology information. Well, Zachary, I thank you for taking time to chat Joe, with us. Joe, thank you so much. Absolutely. I really appreciate your time. Absolutely. Uh, that does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.